Hi all, I am currently on my way to collect Kate from her office for a quick coffee date and a drive in something I think is quite special. Uh, just a note to say thank you very much for all the positive feedback we've received to date. Um, we're enjoying making the content, hopefully you're enjoying watching it and there'll be more to come. How's it? Hello. Right. We're rolling, so don't uh, don't be mean to me. Did we just kiss on camera? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is very nice. So we'll um, chat about it soon. But I want to take you somewhere quickly. I want to show you coffee. How you, yeah, coffee. But I want to show you how you would plug. You know, we we did a overnight charge. To top it up in our garage because we've got the wall box there but um, I'll show you how the public charges work okay so just quickly because Kate is itching to get her coffee uh, I'll show you how the charge stations work so optimally you'll do an overnight charge at home using a wall box that will be installed and you get that usually within the purchase price of any of the modern electric vehicles so on this side of the grid cars installed wall box and Stellenbosch Square, you've got an AC socket and then you'll use the card, the cord provided with the car. And on that side is the DC, which is direct current, which is a super fast charge. So, you pop open the flap. Uh, you would just use the one flap if it was AC, but we're going to use DC. So two flaps open. Come over here. Get the big, quite a substantial cable. Plug it in, the machine will start warming up, grab the screen, uh, use your card that you get with your car, it's obviously preloaded, uh, so you have an account with good cars usually, tap the card, let's acknowledge the card, the machine is warming up, it tells you how long it's going to take to fill the car, um, it's obviously pretty quick using DC. You pay a bit more, you pay about 5 rand 88 for a public charging station, but uh, it's super fast and obviously gives you a boost when you need it. Cool, let's go grab a coffee. So the cool thing is I can follow the state of charge via my, my BMW app and I can even preset the climate control to switch on for a period of time before we get back to the car, which is pretty useful on a hot day. And I also get notified when the car is ready and 100% charged again. Let's try that again. What are we driving? So this is a BMW iX and this is essentially BMW's very bold statement of intent when it comes to electric mobility. So it had the i3 city car before and it had the little i8 um, sports car. But in terms of BMW going right from the ground up, brand new, all new electric, the iX is is pretty impressive. I mean, it's it's not to everybody's taste in terms of the styling, exterior styling, but yeah, it's, you either like it or you really don't like it. What are the pros? So the big pro for me is that it's again it's ground up. So it's on an all new platform. It's even got carbon fiber, um, which is pretty exposed on the doors. You can see it. Um, that makes it a bit lighter uh, than its competition, a bit stiffer and it rides really really well it's got standard air suspension um, the other major uh, draw card for me is the interior is impeccable so bmw started the trend with the i3 so it paid special attention to materials and tactile quality and the ix's interior as massive as it is i think is quite exceptional it's got little uh, it's got real wood trim on the um on the infotainment uh, control screen uh, beautiful big screens this it's got diamantes like di yeah, i don't really like that but um, each to their own but it is very 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 nice to drive and and to experience and um, what are the cons well look up like all evs in the country at the moment it's a little bit more expensive than it probably should be so this is the um, x drive 50 which gives you a bigger capacity battery for improved range and it's also very fast so it goes 0 to 100 in under five seconds so Go. put oh, your foot <laughs> i just swore yeah, <laughs>
So it's very fast, probably faster than it needs to be. And then the iX40 uh, has got slightly less range, although it's still around about 400 k's, which is pretty usable. And obviously it isn't as quick. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, that starts at 1.65 million, which I think is actually pretty good value for a vehicle that inside must be bigger than an X5. Um, it's very big. But it's very big. You know, I know it's big because I had to wash it by hand. Oh. But, oh. I know it's big because I can't reach the kids in the back. Yeah, I mean, it's, got, it's probably got more leg room than a 7 Series long wheelbase, I'm guessing. Um, what range do you get? So I've been seeing when it was fully charged, uh, 530. Um, but yeah, in and around 500. Um, which is which is amazing. So if you do a top-up charge overnight, you wake up every morning, you've got 500 kilometers worth of range. That's pretty impressive. Out of interest, the this comes in two, you said it comes in a? 40 and a 50. Does that make any difference to the range of the car? Yeah, so the 40 has slightly less range because it's got a smaller capacity battery. So that wow. battery is around 75 kilowatt hours. This battery is 111 kilowatt hours. So you're paying more for at extra performance and then a bit more extra extra range um, and what competitors are out there so this is right up against the Audi e-tron which we've experienced before and the Jaguar I-Pace which we experienced quite recently so for me the Audi is very nice and very comfortable but quite familiar inside uh, and, and, and outside and not mm. many people realize that it was a was an e-tron no. the Jaguar is obviously only all electric so and the only reason you knew that was electric was because it was so bright yeah yeah the wrapped and that and 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 the the interior of this has massively dated or instantly dated the jaguar's interior so the jaguar's interior i mean the jaguar's been around longer but that interior was based on um jaguar's current kind of design language at the time whereas this i think is this introduces bmw's future technology in terms of touch screens in terms of um, interactivity you can you've got news updates on your on your screen um, it is very very impressive yeah but the infotainment system can also get very confusing like when you try and just put a single song on it's not as simple as I mean you get you get used to everything uh, and also it's got voice activation which doesn't always work so hey BMW What can I help you with? What's the weather in Cape Town? It's horrendous English. She's very slow this morning. Maybe she should have gone for a coffee. She should have had a coffee. Anyway. Currently it is sunny in Cape Town with a temperature of 19 degrees. Um, what else? Would I own one? Oh, would you buy one? I would buy one. And I think I would have this for Monday to Friday. And I would have, if I was going to go full on BMW, I'd have an M240i, the new one, as a weekend car. But that's not electric. It's not electric, so I would, I would buy my uh, emissions then, credits yeah, during exactly. the week, and then spend my emissions credits on the weekend. I would still have my G-Wagon. <laughs> you would use all my emissions credits. The cars are making emissions. <laughs> the cars are creating more emissions. Than most cars, but that's a story for another day. 